All right, today's project, we are going to laser engrave the iSound Bluetooth speaker with two logos. We're going to be putting the Co-op Otaskoan logo um, on the front, and we're going to be putting the Meridian logo um, on the back. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is um, squish the speaker back down to its storage position so that it fits in the laser engraver. Then we're going to come over to the computer. So in the computer, I've got my file set up in CorelDRAW. Um, we have the logos that we wanted to use. I always put the settings for my laser in the file. And then over here we've got the actual uh, laser um, art. The green box is just an outline. It does that at zero power so that I can initially line up my burn. And then the black is the actual laser engraving. All right, so we have a Laser Pro machine. It's been working awesome for us. It's a 30 watt machine. This particular job, we're just running one right now, but this particular job, we run it at 50 speed, 35 power, 760 DPI and 400 PPI. Typically, um, you really experiment with the first product and get a, you get a groove going after the first few. Um, the first few you burn, you usually do it a lower power than you think you need and you just burn them a couple extra times. As long as you leave the, uh, the item in the jig, you can re-engrave over and over in the same spot to intensify the uh, engraving. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is wait for this one to finish and then I'm going to load one up. I'll uh, play on fast forward the actual engraving of the item and I'll speed it up like really fast for you so it doesn't actually take a uh, lifetime. The actual burn time of these is about, um, each burn is about four minutes, four and a half minutes, and I burn them twice. The, um, I found that the second burn, you get two, you get a better imprint when you do a two burn at a lower power than you do if you do a higher power one pass. So they take about nine minutes each, but um, for a single job, you can charge probably 25, 30 bucks for it. And if you did a whole bunch, like we're doing a hundred, you know, if you get a few bucks each, uh, four or five, six bucks each, um, you know, it's a pretty big job. Anyways, I'll wait for this one to finish and then we'll load it up. All right, so the last one finished, so I'm going to go ahead and open the lid. I'm going to place my camera down inside the machine so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to pop out the old one, slide it back. I'll take the new one. I'm, I'm going to align it uh, exactly where the old one was so that it's quite easy to line up. I stick my finger on the, uh, the speaker and spin it to make sure that I get an uh, even height here for the laser. And then I know that I need to be right beside this little black dot to get a center. So I'm going to place that in so we can see the iSound logo here. It's going to engrave the one side first and the other. I'm going to snap it down, position my camera, close the lid, and press start for you. So we want to take a look at it to make sure there's no inconsistent uh, marks on it. It looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it out. Take it over to the table. What we're going to do now with the finished product is take the uh, laser clean and uh, clean off the logos. It gets some uh, burn marks sometimes. Uh, not burn marks, but smoke marks that build up. And basically you can just wipe them off with laser clean. And you can see that the Co-op Otaskoan logo um, it's super, super sharp. I'll just maybe focus in here for you. Uh, Wetaskin Petroleum and then the Meridian on the back is uh, really, really sharp as well. Right, the last thing we have to do is repackage it. So basically pop it back in the package exactly how it came out. Pop it in its box and we're done. Thank you for watching the video on the uh, Bluetooth iSound laser engraved Speakers.